Okay, so I'm getting ready for the William Penn show. He gave me a dressing and um, I took you with me in the previous vlog to like show wh what I'm gonna wear. But um, yeah, I'm gonna unpack it now and try it on. So he packed, or she packed, his assistant helped me. They packed me some white heels, which you don't necessarily see, but you'll see in the look. And when I style it, how they will look. And I think here is the bag that is only launching today. And I was allowed to wear it for the show today already. It's so cute. I'll show you how it looks probably. Pro pro properly. Yes, and this is the bag that is launching today. So, then I got some jewelry as well, but I feel like it's gonna be too much. I just took it with me to like see how how it will go um, with the outfit. But I think I'll either just go for the earrings or just for this necklace. So this is the beautiful dress I am wearing. And look at the back. It has these amazing roses. I need to show you full screen. beautiful i feel so weird being at full on winter but yeah okay we arrived at the location it's so cold but i'm excited it's gonna be amazing i think william always comes up with cool ideas and show locations Hast du irgendwie ein bisschen größer gekommen? Oh, no, 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 you can't, that's no worries. <laughs> Sojasauce, Marinade mit ein bisschen Sake, Kombu Alge, bisschen Knoblauch, das könnt ihr für überall nehmen. It's a long time, no outfit in the mirror. <laughs> and for the first time, I got dressed 
stressed with time. I went through my closet, I checked things out, I was trying on blazers. And from the previous video, you've probably seen this vintage blazer that I found in my hometown. And um, I really love the boxy fit to it. Um, I didn't like it with the skirt, but I, I just love it um, by itself. And with it, I'm wearing these new House of Dagmar jeans that kind of remind me of old school jeans I used to have when I was younger. And took out my Chanel sling, sling bags because the sun is shining, it's not raining today, so I wanted to take the opportunity to take them out and be a bit of in a spring mood vibe. And I'm heading to event, an event from Cloudy, who has designed, if I can get this button open, designed a, a shirt, a white shirt with a um, Seidensticker. And it has these cool details. I love the fit to it. You could also wear it without. Oops. You could also wear it without the blazer, but I'll t take the tie off because it just feels random with the tie like that. And um, yeah, the cut is really cool. That's what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna throw the blazer on because it. It's in the whole outfit. I feel like it's a vibe. So I'm currently at the shop for appliances and I want to buy these things and I'm trying out how it would look with jewelry for some like upcoming projects to plan and my dad is standing here and waiting for me and I'm like trying out different things with the poles how it would look good and how many I would need of these to look to look cool I'm back in Berlin back to work it's raining like crazy i hope it's gonna stop because i have to shoot a job um and it's video content and it has to be outside and it's spring content and it looks oh uh, it definitely doesn't look like spring outside and i thought um i might as well shoot an outfit um a more simple basic outfit um i just got these cost pants in and I really love the fit of them, a bit balloony, super loose here, what I like, comfortable. And with it, I'm wearing these sneakers. I can't say it, so please uh, bear with me. Onitsuka Tiger. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I've seen this by Sophie, by Nisi, and I needed a new sneaker um, because I've been wearing the same old. Uh, yeah. I try and not buy a lot of stuff. Like I really think, I thought about these for so long, like really, really long until I'm like, okay, now it's time to get them to really purchase reasonable. But I love how they look with these pants. And with it, I'm wearing my beloved Totem sweater that has been with me for so many years. I don't even know, I think three or four years now. And it's still one of my favorite um, fits in winter. And with it, this Loewe vintage leather jacket that I found on Vestia, I think it was last year. Um, I have to sew on the buttons properly. I'm kind of dreading that. Um, I don't like sewing on buttons, but I learned how to do it. Um, and it's been fun repairing all of my stuff. I've been like repairing my jackets and uh, my boyfriend's stuff where holes were in it just to like keep it for a longer time and it's been so much fun doing it so yeah let me head out into the rain and hopefully <laughs> i can tackle that mess this week
because I'm I, I'll be here and I'll have time hopefully. So Ich muss so drin, das ist besser. Wie musst du drin? Okay, I'm a super picky breakfast eater, or would I say picky? I would say if I found something that I really love, I have to have it every single day, non-stop, uh, till the point where I don't want to eat it anymore. But this has been my breakfast for over a year now. It's simply just Greek yogurt with honey and strawberries or seasoned fruits. Sometimes I leave out the fruits, but it has to be a special sort of um, chocolate um, muesli, chocolate cereal that I love and it has like this vanilla taste. So I just have the same brand of chocolate um, cereal that I buy. And um, yeah, then I top it up with chia seeds sometimes and always have two drinks. And because I suffer so much with psoriasis, I found um, some supplements that help with psoriasis. I don't know, but at this point I'm trying everything I can. It's got like vitamin D, zinc, um, I don't know what else, I think some other extracts that are really good. I'll show you the packaging. I am not a supplement person and I would never take supplements just like that. Like, if I take something, you must know I'm super desperate. Um, I, I found this on Pinterest and they were talking about that, um, you know, you can't really heal psoriasis. And they have found that there are some deficiencies in patients that suffer from psoriasis. So this is what it actually has, like, um, um, vitamin D, I think that's the most common deficiency that um, people with psoriasis have suffer. But yeah, um, it's um, actually, I can't even tell you if it's helping, but I feel like my nails have grown long. I don't know if that's a side effect from this, because the last time I had this long nails was when I was pregnant. And no, I'm not pregnant. Um, so... I think it's maybe also because of the magnesium. Maybe I had, I had a deficiency in magnesium as well. But I am uh, I can totally recommend this, even if you just want to take like supplements. I mean, where's the harm in taking these, right? Okay, I must admit I gotta love TikTok and Instagram for recipe ideas. I've been recently following, well, not really following her, but just like looking up Nara Smith for her what she eats in a day and her like recipe stuff and um i saw this her research chicken thing which she took down so i had to like kind of do it my way but it was an inspiration for what i could cook so it's basically just potatoes tomatoes um lime well um lemon chicken 
and I cut some red onions and I put um, the harissa and I seasoned it because it's very strong. I seasoned it with um, le more lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper and then um, I'm going to put it in the oven and see how it turns out. I didn't fully put harissa to the extent of putting it because my son is going to eat with us and it's going to be quite spicy for him. For us, it's just the right amount of spice. But this is something, um, yeah, even though Nara Smith is very controversial. Um, Long. Yeah, but it looks super cool. Everything looks so
Ananas no mango. So, I just got back home from lunch from uh, so house. I haven't been there in a while. And yeah, the food is always so semi. It was okay, I guess. But I quickly wanted to show you what I'm wearing today because I haven't done this in a long time. And I have to say, if it's cold and rainy, I'm super demotivated to wear anything other leggings, boots, and a Uniqlo fat jacket. So this is my look if I get dressed up. Um, and this is like the in-between weather where it's too cold for just a coat, but it's too hot for like a, a fat jacket um, because you start to sweat. And now I'm already sweating, even though I wore a coat because you're like walking, especially with boots. And then, yeah, I just do not like the in-between weather. So I'm wearing old Prada sunnies because I thought I would take out the 90s vibe. Then this cardigan by Anita Haas that I really, really like. The last time I wore it was with Capri pants and I can't wait to wear those again. I can't wait for summer. You know the deal with me. Always complaining about the weather. Um, then I'm wearing a vintage Yves Saint Laurent shirt that I found on Vestiaire, I think even in the men's section for like 60 euro or something. And these closed Nika pants. I have them in black as well and I really, really love the fit of them because they're wide leg, effortlessly, love how they fall. They have an amazing length, even though I they lie on the floor, but I kind of like the way it fits with boots and then the AD boots that I always wear. Yeah, so this was my look and I had my black totem uh, coat on. And I was freezing, but now I'm sweating. I just hate the in-between weather. So yeah, I hope the uh, February vlog will coming soon. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna cut that, but I have, I don't even know if I have a lot more uh, material to show because these um, winter days, you know how it is. It's hectic for me with a child and with the viruses and also me not doing anything because it's just cold and dark and rainy. But um, yeah, the wedding preparations are slowly but surely coming together. I'm um, in a whole loop of, um, I mean, there's four months to go and I feel like there's so much I'm missing. I have the main things, but still I want everything to be like done. So it's really hard for me to like enjoy this process because it's stressing me out. I'm like, okay, what if it's too late for some stuff? And what what if it doesn't look good? Because I, I don't know how the studio situation is gonna look because it's not a set, you know, there wasn't a, an event like that that I can, that I'm sure of it's gonna look good. So it's all a bit tricky in my mind. Um, and you can see there at the back is my wedding dress um that needs to be altered as well um so those are so many to do's on my list and i don't know where to start but yeah we're currently working on the real wedding invites and i'm super excited to show like the final result of them um and yeah i hope i hope it will be soon um because uh yeah we're waiting on on the the graphic designer it will be with hans uh, again, uh, which we really loved uh, the first take on the save the dates. So yeah, stay tuned. Wir sind jetzt auf der Ebene. 
And we have time to talk uh, real quick. <laughs> I uh, went home for um, just one day yesterday and I left my son with his grandparents and my husband is currently on a work work um, trip so I'm um, so I took the uh, ICE yesterday to Berlin and had a day for myself. But I basically met Alice because I haven't seen her for a long time. She saw my wedding dress. It was so, so nice that she finally got to see it and like talk to me about what could get altered because she did um, study fashion design and she knows like her garments and is so good with it. But also to see like one of my best friends see me in the dress was so special and so nice. And um, yeah, it was such a lovely day. And in the evening I went to the row X, um, the Boo store, because Boo store is finally launching the row and, and they have a, such a cute selection of things. It was the first drop and in the second drop they'll have bags and shoes. So I'm super looking forward to that. And I quickly wanted to show you my travel outfit because I'm heading back to the village. Well, it's actually a small town, but in comparison to Berlin, it's a village. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my travel look and layering a bit um, I'm wearing these Nika closed pants fit I'm wearing this Cartier X high snobiety hoodie and a Hope Stockholm blazer and my beloved totem jacket because it's still freezing outside and this Natasha X Ramsey Levy um, bag which I really really like and she is the former designer of Chloe and collaborated with APC and yeah everything fits in I, I, I really have it full and it's super cute it has like this whole detail in here and the other side it's closed up so yeah So that was February and March combined together into one vlog because I realized in March I actually didn't vlog as much and I was, I don't even know what I was doing. I have like, I feel like sometimes I have short term memory loss because I'm like, what the hell did I even do in the month of March? So anyways, I am going to put my makeup on, get ready for the day with me and um, just tag you along of what I did in February and March. While I was cutting, I was like, okay, in February, I, I did quite, quite, um, quite some things. It was a long month, I feel like, even though February is short, it felt very long for me. And um, yeah, we got some really nice things for our home to um yeah just get it more more ready you guys know the struggle of me finding um yeah perfect furniture or um yeah things that i really like to put in our apartment so it takes very very long for me or for us to decide on what we're gonna get for our apartment and it's funny because uh yasmin from madame tam tam um, I met her, I think it was by the Lyco event and we were talking and she was like, yeah, you're like the only one I know that takes so long to buy furniture and to think about what to put in your home. And I'm like, 
literally it, it does like a lot of things on my wish list but it has to be 100 what i imagine or what we think and we also have to agree on it like i can like something really really nice and uh marius will be like no i'm not feeling it or i don't see it sometimes i can convince him and then he's like okay yeah you were right it looks really good um but yeah life in a relationship or in a marriage is a compromise so it's okay <clears throat> so we got the tilco um for our bedroom finally for more storage and just like for a, a chicer kind of look or a kind of uh, put together feel in the bedroom because i feel like our bedroom just felt super plain and just furniture put in i mean there's still a lot to put inside like some pictures on the walls um maybe some artwork but also it's just lacking some character i want to go and search for some curtains some nice ones um it's super hard to find um curtains that are that high or that are that um long so i saw yotex the um online shop that i i don't really like for furniture but they have linen curtains and currently you can um they're made you can make them with your measurements so i'm looking into that and maybe I can I can um, order some of those, but I have to say it's so I would love to see how they they look in real life. So maybe I'll um, order like a sample curtain and then send it back. I don't know if they have sampled. You know, sometimes you can get a fabric sample of something. That would be really nice. Just see how the feel and the look of it is because if it's like too see through, then we don't need it. And if it's too heavy, it has to be this in-between kind of material. But I'm definitely going for linen because I want it to feel a bit uh, flowy and, and I feel and, and comfortable. And I feel like linen has a very comfortable um, yeah, feel to it as a material. Um, yeah, and then for the kitchen, we got the um, metal... Um, in German, it's called Schwerlastenregal. And that we have been searching for for a long time for the like proper one. And we were ju we just went to the hardware store and we're like, okay, we're just going to get one of those from there. But they um, were sold out. And thank God they were sold out because I wasn't really happy with it. I was like, okay, it's okay. It's a, it's a good solution for the kitchen. And I... I love that it's like the metal feeling and it goes well with our um, table. But then Marius, he did some research and found out that there is this guy that does um, custom made ones and um, just in height and whatever. But the elements that you can put in were super unique to us. So it had a wine shelf element. And we thought that was super cool because we were always like, where do we store our wine? So that was a really cool, unique solution. And um, yeah, we need a lot of wine now because we have two, um, two shelves where you can put wine in and just two bottles of wine. Also mainly because I don't drink alcohol anymore, but um, Addison, Sophie's boyfriend, brought me a non-alcoholic like a nature wine kind of thing and normally i don't um like them because for me it just tastes like apple juice but this specific brand was actually really good i really really enjoyed it and also at the arcade lunch there was an alcohol free like um what was it um, champagne and that was really really good as well Nisi and I were drinking it and we really enjoyed it because as I said most of the alcohol free things just taste like apple juice or any kind of grape juice so this really felt like bubbly and it did feel like I was drinking alcohol 
<clears throat> um, but yeah, without the alcohol. <laughs> um, I've been off the alcohol for almost five months now. And I must say, I do not miss it. I feel like my skin is cleared, cleared up. Somebody said to me, I'm glowing. And I said, maybe it's because, you know, that pregnancy, go, uh, pregnancy glow is because you're not drinking alcohol. So your body is given all this, um, all these, doesn't have any toxins inside. So that's where the glow comes from and not from the pregnancy. It can also come from the pregnancy, but yeah, I feel like the alcohol or not, not drinking it anymore has really, really really had a positive impact on my life. I feel much better. I don't get sick anymore. I mainly stopped because I felt sick all the time. Like I needed to um, throw up and you know, my I'm scared of throwing up. So to not <laughs> put more strain on my phobia, I just stopped drinking. And I noticed yeah, that it's, it's definitely helping me and helping me. Um, it definitely helped to stop drinking alcohol because I really thought it could be the old milk or the coffee I'm drinking or that I'm just naturally stressed and it's coming from the stress, but it was definitely the alcohol. So I started, you see me in the hardware store again <laughs> and um, I am currently doing my portfolio for art direction and I was in the hardware store and I had like a vision of poles and metal and all those kind of things. So the hardware store, it was for me. And I asked Anita Haas if I could lend some um, cool designer pieces that are new to shoot the imagery. And um, Maris and I took, uh, took some time in the studio and we're playing around with the light and I was playing around with the, um, with the stuff that I got. As you could see, I had like the layout of like paper, there were shells, um, I had some um, wool that I bought. My sister went to a wool store and she went to buy it for knitting and I went to buy it for images. Um, yeah, maybe I'll knit something out of the the pink uh, knit knitting wool that is still there. Yeah, but that was really fun. I really enjoyed spending time with my husband in the studio and doing, um, doing something for my portfolio and also for his because he, he rarely does still. So it was kind of nice to like combine what he wants to do more and what I want to do more and then have that joint thing. I'll blend in the images of how it looked and um, you can tell me which one of those stills is your favorite. I definitely love the Christopher Esper shoe and the image for it. It's, it's my favorite and my husband really liked the pink Malina Burger um, shoe. I never would have thought because uh, the Malina burger shoe is very furry and uh, you know men and fashion pieces sometimes they don't get along and he just like I thought he wouldn't like understand the the shoe but yeah that was something that um, I did this month and I'm really proud of and I'm super happy of and I don't know really what's gonna happen in April. It's already, you know, time goes so fast and I'm kind of liking it because it's summer soon, but then I'm like, oh my God, then summer's over really soon as well. And I don't want it to be over because I I just wanna enjoy the, uh, the summery moments because I feel like it's always, it's always going too, too fast. So yeah, I have nothing really planned um, for April. Um, there are some things that I would like to do and tackle on because we're finally living alone. Okay, I forgot to tell that Mario's stepsister 
moved out um, or moved away and um, now I have my room back, um, my office, so that's something on my list that I have to do um, is get that ready. It's going to be an office slash guest room and then tackle this room. I mean, I started tidying it up. It's almost done and I'm selling stuff still. Um, I could like really go through my closet and I'm still in the process of doing that. It's like my spring clean out. So once that's ready, um, I can finally like, you know, focus on the interior in the office. I want a new lamp. I was thinking of, um, I'll blend it in as well, of um, a super cool lamp I found on Andlight. Um, just to make it a bit more feminine. Um, yeah, I want a new carpet in there. At the moment, there's a Zara home carpet in that I just don't like. I don't feel like that it fits to the vibe of the room. It's very hard and very, very stiff. And I think I need something a bit more flowier and warmer. I could even see a brownish carpet inside just to bring in some depth and color. Um, yeah, still in the neutral sense, um, but yeah, just to make it a bit more comfortable because at the moment it feels very, very cold inside. Also focus on new curtains um, for that room and just make it feel like a comfortable environment for me to work in, but also for when my parents come or when friends come to stay, that is just something comfortable to be in. And then I got my mom's sewing machine. Well, she had a sewing machine for me. Um, and I want to start sewing and um, just practice on sewing because I maybe it will come natural. Let, maybe it will come naturally to me because my mom is a crazy sewer. But um, as I was saying, I am so into fixing my, my clothes um, when stuff are broken or when there's holes inside. I've been repairing Alo's clothes and Mario's clothes and my clothes, just stitching them up with a colorful kind of color. And um, that has been really fun, but I want to take it to the next level. So if something like really needs altering, except my wedding dress, <laughs> but if something really needs altering that I can do it um like you know stitch up my pants or anything maybe i need to get a crash course from alice because she's so good in it and she can probably teach me some really good things but also mainly i got it the um, sewing machine here because our wedding invites contain some sewing so um, I just can't wait to finally do that step of the wedding invitations. And it's already April. I mean, everybody got the save the date. So that's, that's good. They saved the date and everybody like kind of said yes or no that they're coming. But I want to get out the wedding invite so bad. It's just like, I can't wait anymore. Um, and yeah, especially I can't wait to show you because I think it's such a cool and unique way and it kind of fits to us as uh, as a couple so i'm excited about that so yes thank you so much for watching this vlog and i hope it's i hope it's okay that i combined both months together and um i know i'm not coming in frequent as i should be and i was thinking like maybe i could do an extra something else for the middle of the month but it's just to be honest would I, would I would I have time to do it would I have uh, the capacity to do it and what could it be maybe you have some suggestions what you would like to see either then a vlog um or something something else uh that is uh that would may interest you <clears throat> and maybe I'll come up with a with the format of you know something else um yeah so thank you so much for watching and see you hopefully in may bye